In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to setting up your Notion gamification template, and I'm going to show you how to create your very own radar chart on Notion to display your character stats. Before we dive into the walkthrough, I highly encourage you to read the creators forward. If you still haven't, in this page, I talked about how to realistically gamify your life. If you really want to live your life as if you are in a video game, just implementing gamification systems are not enough. You need to adopt a gamified mindset new way of thinking that changes how you view your task and see every actions you take as a way to grow your character. This template was created to support you in implementing this mindset shift and to help you stay consistent in your gamification journey. If you skip this page, you might find this template entirely useless. So please pause this video right now and come back after you have read the page. Welcome back to the video. So I hope you took some time to read the creators forward. If you have read that page, congratulations. You have completed the most important first step to begin your gamification journey, which is understanding the core concepts of gamification to help you live a value led life. So with that knowledge in mind, let's begin the tutorial. The first step to gamifying your life is to pick your value. So click on the daily level up beta page. In this page, you are going to see the all stats table, which is the foundation of this template, the building block of your gamification journey. The default table that I have set up has five areas, physical, psyche, intellect, spiritual, and core. And as you can see, each of these tables have a further breakdown of substats. These substats are your character attributes, your character character stats and values that you want to work on and level up in. The points column is where you will be recording and tracking your XP progress. It's pretty straightforward. This table is completely customizable so you can edit the labels and rename the substats to what is personally relevant to you. So I suggest you take some time to think about what character traits you want to develop, what values you want to put into action. If you are feeling lost, you can also use ChatGPT to help you brainstorm a bunch of traits. I'm going to go ahead and edit the labels and you can follow along. If you can't think of what stats you want to work on right now, it's completely fine. You can just start with the default stats and add on new ones later. For now, let's just assume that we are done setting up this table. So let's move on to the next step. Scroll down to this category section. In this section, you are going to describe a list of activities and tasks that correspond to the individual substats from this table above. As you can see, I have already written a few descriptions. What I suggest you do is to try to think about all the actions and tasks that you can take to level up in these areas. It's important to be very clear and specific so that in the future, when you are creating your to-do list and taking actions, you know exactly what actions are helping you grow and gain XP's in these areas. In the future, when you start creating your to-do list, you can start pairing the action with related character stats. For for example, when I do research for my content, I like to pair it with knowledge. After I complete the task, I would go to the table, go to the intellect section, click on the plus icon, and that's how you level up your stats. In the real world, we don't really think about how our daily actions are helping us grow or keeping us stuck. So it's important to be clear about what actions are helping you grow in your everyday life. Again, your list of actions have to be personally relevant to you. This list is not set in stone and you are free to add more activities or remove those that don't resonate with you. After you finish writing your descriptions, we can finally move on to our final stats updated beta table. This is the table we are going to use to build our character chart. The table is basically a summary of all stats table from above. It sums up all the substats from each of these categories and display them in just one table view. So when you update your XP's in your substats, the points automatically get updated in this table. So I'm going to show you how this works, how I import the data sets from all stats table to the stats updated table. To link one database to another on Notion, what you want to do is to create a new property. Pick relation and here you want to connect this table to all stats beta table. After you add the relation, this new column will pop up. So in this column, we want to see the sum of all the substats from the table above. To do that, we need to link the physical stat pages in this column right here. 
So pick all the pages from the physical area, such as strength, appearance, flexibility, nutrition, biceps. Repeat the same step to connect the databases to the rest of the area. And this is going to be how it looks after you connect all the pages. I personally like to arrange the pages in the order of how they are set up in the table above. So make sure that all the pages are linked in the order correctly. If this column display looks messy to you, you can hide it by clicking on the property and click hide in view. To display the data set, create another property, select row up, pick all stats beta in relations and pick points. To display the sum of the points, select the sum option. In the property, you can show the number in a bar format. I like to have the individual number data sets and the sum displayed side by side because I want to make sure that all the pages are linked correctly. You can also hide it if you don't want to see it. And this is basically how this table is set up. In the future, if you want to add a new substats to the area, just make sure to link the new pages in the all stats beta column. Now that you know how the databases work, let's move on to the juicy bits, which is building the radar chart. In this page, I talked about how you can build your own radar chart. There are two ways to build this chart. You can use Notion to chart or Data Jumbo. Data Jumbo recently started charging for their services, so we have to use Notion to chart. Click on the link and it will take you to the website. Sign in to Notion to chart with your desired Gmail address. Click connect to Notion to import your Notion database. It's going to ask you to grant access to your Notion pages. Select Gamify Your Live page and click Allow Access. After you grant access, you can finally create your radar chart. Click Create Chart, pick Radar Chart, and click Next. Now you need to select the database you want to create the chart from. In our case, it's Stats Updated Beta, so type it out, select, and click Next. Next, for the X axis, pick area. For the Y axis, pick points and create chart. Wait for it to load and this is your official radar chart. Now you can customize your chart. You can edit the title label or choose to hide it. You can also change the color of the area. Just click on single color button and pick your desired colors. For now, let's pick green. You can also hide the data labels by clicking none. To import this chart to Notion, get embed link, copy it, and go to your Gamify Your Life main page. Paste the embed link down below, click embed and let it load for a bit and the chart will pop up. If your Notion is in dark mode, just click on the moon icon and it will turn into dark mode. Next, you can delete the placeholder picture. This radar chart gets automatically updated. So if you add points in your value stats, it changes shape like this. This is how the basic setup works. The mechanics are straightforward and you can customize your page to your personal taste and build your own systems upon this template and finally begin your gamification journey. My goal for this template is to help you take intentional actions that align with your personal values and goals. My gamification template is based on your character radar chart, which is a representation of yourself. I hope that by looking at your radar chart every day, you start to see the big picture of self-improvement and see yourself holistically like a video game character from a third person perspective. Because your XP's are based on your real life actions, you're not just leveling up within the template itself, you are also leveling up real life and experiencing real life character development. The more XP's you gain, the more you level up and because there is no end to your personal development until the day you die. You can probably use this template for the rest of your life if you want to. One of the reasons why I didn't make this template to be a comprehensive all-in-one Notion template is because I want to keep it sustainable and also easy for new users to use. When a system has too many features, it can get overwhelming to keep up and maintain. So I like to keep it simple and easy to sustain, even for the busiest person. Personally, I believe the best Notion template or the best way to gamify your life 
is to find a system that works for you. So of course you are free to add on more features that suit your workflow, your lifestyle, and your goals. If you already have a Notion workspace, you don't need to completely abandon your current Notion database. You can try to integrate your current Notion with my gamification template. I also have a gamification Discord server if you want to join my gamification community. We have meetings every single week and every month I launch a party boss rate, which is a seven day accountability program to help the members stay on track with their goals. Self-improvement can be a pretty lonely journey, so it's great to be part of a community with other like-minded people who are also gamifying their lives. When it comes to building a community, I prioritize quality over quantity. So currently this server is reserved for the people who bought the template. The template comes with a lifetime access to my Discord server where you get to meet other gamifiers. I also plan to make more in-depth videos about gamification, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are interested in learning more tips and advice on how to realistically gamify your life. Thank you for watching my video and I wish you the best of luck on your gamification journey and happy gamification!